Hello everyone, this is Triton Book. I'm very excited today to bring you a different little book review thing. Uh, a new book came out like a week or maybe a little bit, a little bit more than a week ago. And I'm very excited because I really, really like the idea behind it. And I think they did a pretty good job. And that is the book here that I got. To. It's called The One Dawn Challenge. So this was put together by Young Soon Yoon. I believe that's how you say her name. Well, we'll find out. Um, you might remember her from, uh, I believe it was Yoon's Baduk Cafe, it used to be her channel, but now she has a new channel called Awesome Baduk. I'm looking over at the side, that's why I'm pointing there. And um, they are a group of people now instead of just one person making videos, lots of different teachers, professional players, I believe. And uh, they have some pretty interesting videos, which is really cool. But one of the things that they released, which I think is really, really nice, is this One Dawn Challenge book. Now, just the name is already sort of intriguing because we don't really have too many uh, Go challenges. And in this case, it's a little bit more of a study challenge, how to push yourself to the One Dawn level. Though I think the information in this book could be suitable for many levels. And even if not, uh, even if it's too difficult, I guess, if you're like a DDK, or even if it's too easy, if you're a Dawn level player already, uh, just following along with this challenge could be a great way to get you to develop your own good study habits. Before talking about this book too much more, though, I said off to the side, hopefully I remember that's where I put it. Uh, <laughs> I do want to check out their actual post they made about this because the reason I wanted to make this video right now is because in, in about a week, they are going to be starting their own actual one on challenge where you can, where you can communicate with them and other people doing the challenge. I think this is going to be a really cool event. So let's go look at this little page here. All right, so here we have their uh, YouTube page, Awesome Baruch. This is their community section. So you can see the posts they make. And you might recognize these two people here, two, these two professionals, maybe. <laughs> and uh, we go down here to the, uh, here's the, the actual paperback book thing here, but go down here to the actual One Dawn Challenge. Now the One Dawn Challenge is a six week thing. I believe it's around 42 days, right? Hopefully the math is correct. The idea is you're doing uh, homework or you're, you're studying from the book Monday through Saturday. You can join their Discord and be able to discuss with the other people there. And I think with the teachers, the actual homework and, and everything that, that is being covered. And if you do join the challenge, you do get a copy of the book, which is really nice. It's a, it's a electronic copy. So if you are wanting the paperback version, it will be uh, a separate purchase there. Now, if you want to join their discord, just check the QR code. I think you can even use it on my screen. All good. There's more information here though. Oh uh, yeah. If you're already an awesome book member, you already know about this, but it's uh, 20 euros, right? Um, if you're a non-member, though, it is double the price. I don't know too much about uh, their membership stuff. Uh, you can look that up on your own. Uh, for this price, you do get the book and you get to uh, talk to everybody and maybe communicate with the teachers and, and uh, have more help when going through this challenge. If you're able to complete the challenge, you do get to play a game with one of the teachers. It's a simultaneous game. Uh, they need an in there, but it's all good. And you do get a little completion certificate, which is just a cool little uh, thing to say, hey, I did do this. Uh, I think there is a little bit more information. Oh yeah, why you should take the challenge. Just a good way to get motivated, work with friends. Um, it, it all makes sense. And just some uh, examples of the uh, pages itself. So yeah, this is, this is the idea. I really like this idea. You should definitely check it out if you are interested. And even if you don't want to end up doing the challenge, definitely check out their YouTube channel. See if there's anything else you like about them. I should leave a bunch of links to everything in the description or maybe a first comment here down below. But let's move back on to full screen and talk about the book in a little bit more detail. With this book, as I was mentioning already, I think it's already a great idea, no matter your rank, to help you develop a basic uh, study routine or study habit. It goes over the course of 42 days, I believe. That's about how many days it is. And I, I remember studying a little bit about how to develop habits a long time ago, and it was usually about a month to develop a very simple habit. So 42 days of making sure you're studying, and even if you're spending, they said something about like 10 to 30 minutes uh, each day on go, you're going to develop a nice, simple habit. Maybe you get home, you study a little bit, and this will actually help you give, give yourself some, some good topics to study. So in the book, it actually has like a, 
an entire calendar area. Let's see if you can see this nicely. A nice little calendar area. So you can fill in if you did the challenges for that day and even some more information about how to actually get started with the challenge, like how to get out of your comfort zone, how to uh, set your goals, how to make your plans, etc. But the part that I really like about this, this reminds me of another book that I have checked out, which is called Train Like a Pro, where it sort of has a daily routine for you to follow that is training you in, in a little bit more detail than this one. But this one, it has a specific topic that you're covering each day. And so day one, and I guess not just each day, but each sp specific day of the week. So Monday is dedicated to uh, pro games. And it's only Lee Chang Ho games, six Lee Chang Ho games for this uh, challenge. And the idea here, if we look at this, you can probably see a little bit better here, is we have the, the game itself in the middle, a QR code here where she's reviewing the game on video. That's uh, Young Soon Yoon. And even the important information that she thinks is very useful to learn from this game. And it's not just about uh, watching the video and studying the game a little bit. She also wants you to sort of memorize the first 100 moves. In this case, it's 1 through 99, but the first 100 moves of the game. And so I think that is uh, a, a good, simple way to get a grasp on direction of play and basic opening. Though the opening stuff nowadays is a bit different than like this 1990s game, it's still going to mostly be the correct uh, direction of play. And so I think that is really nice. In order to save a bit of space and keep this a very thin book, the QR codes make it so she didn't have to have a whole section reviewing the game in the book, which is very nice. And then at the end, of course, you probably saw here as well, there's the goal section. You write down information like, did you study the pro game? Did you watch the video? Did you solve problems? And uh, how did you feel about the challenge? Now there is a little bit of a weird thing with this goal aspect is that uh, I don't really know how it's sort of graded. I don't know if there's more information in the discord because like there's no problems here to solve for this day one. So I'm not sure what it's for. Maybe there's extra stuff on the discord stuff. I have no, no clue, but there's also like, uh, was it five sections of like zero to hundred percent? There's only four topics here. So I, I'm not exactly sure how the goal thing works, but that's not really too important. All that's really important is that you're, you're, you're sort of uh, taking responsibility for what you are doing, keeping track of everything and making sure you're, you're going and, and taking notes that you are doing these things every day. Mondays, always a game review. And Tuesday are life and death problems. And what's really nice about this set, I believe it's for every problem, is that it has the uh, board here with the four problems and underneath this, this is actually the shape that these life and death problems come from. And then of course the QR code for the video. And even here on the side, there is a, uh, I believe this is a proverb, something about death in the Hane, if I remember this one correctly, let's see. Yeah, there is death in the Hane. This is a cool idea, right? You're not just learning the life and death problems and learning how to read a little bit. You're also learning, oh, this is the shape and it's the order of moves for this shape and uh, then you can sort of recognize this sort of problem in your actual games more easily. Then uh, Wednesday is a capturing race. I think it's quite often we do not focus on capturing races enough. I know I didn't, and I know even a lot of the other Dom players I've talked to still don't really know the proper way to count liberties in a capture race. So having more capture race problems is useful. The same sort of layout, just some capturing races here and keeping track of your goals. Uh, for or Thursday is vital points is what it's saying. It's attacking. So it's a uh, attacking your opponent's shape. You're not really going to be able to see this too well, but it's another, it's just the same sort of layout in every page, but attacking your opponent's shape here. Fridays, you're learning about how to squeeze and sacrifice stones. And then uh, Saturday is end game study. I believe most of it is like the proper move. If I go all the way to the end here, um, yeah, it's proper moves to play, like how to properly defend against the monkey jump and how to properly uh, defend the corner to get the most amount of points. It seems mostly like that's what it is, not really about counting or anything else. And then Sunday, which is uh, the day where you don't really have to do anything, there is a uh, story that you can read about Lee Cheng Ho. There's even the QR code here and they <laughs> a couple... Uh, <laughs> 
<laughs> typos. They're stroy instead of story, but it's not a big deal. They also said that Sunday you are supposed to sort of review what you learned over the week. So you go back over everything that you've learned. So make sure you remember the pro game, make sure you remember the Tesuji and the life and death problems. And you just do a review for Sunday. How did you enjoy the challenge? You learn a little bit, sort of a relaxing day though. It's not, not about really studying that day from what they said. And in the introduction, it also talks about the other sort of thing that they wanted people to do was to uh, play at least two games a week. Now it seems like did you play a game was sort of on every page. So you could try to play a game every single day, but they mentioned at least two games per week. So this is a good little routine, right? You're studying a little bit of professional game and trying to absorb some knowledge from that, trying to memorize at least the opening and early middle game, maybe even some of the important mid game parts because 100 moves. Uh, it's not actually as much as you would think, but it covers a really good large chunk. But you're not focusing on uh, Joseki. You're not focusing on opening necessarily. You're focusing on very practical skills. And that's why I think this is very useful because any that's why I think anybody can pick this up and learn from it and develop their own little habits. And e even if you're not the target audience, which I think in order to actually be pushing to one Don, it's probably like 5Q to 1Q is sort of the target audience, not just 1Q players who need to literally push to the next level, but everybody uh, who's trying to get to one Don for about 5Q, it seems the problems are appropriate enough for them. But even if you're like already a Don level player, going through this can also help pinpoint some of your technical weaknesses, right? So if you're going through and everything's easy, then of course that's not that big of a deal. But let's say you could solve the life and death problems really well, but you had a really hard time finding the vital points to attack in a shape. Well, now you know you need to find some sort of book about shape, find some sort of videos about that, and uh, find more information regarding these things. Like if that's the the one you are consistently struggling with throughout the 42 weeks, then also, 42 weeks, but no, 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 42 days. But also, by the time you're done, you're more likely to come home and study more Go every single day, even after you've finished. And that's what I really like about this idea behind this book here. And so it's also not pushing you too hard on the back it says grow 1% a day. That is sort of the goal here. These aren't a ton of problems. This isn't trying to push you in a super huge direction to make you do as much as possible to push you to the pro level or anything like that. It's just to get you to grow a bit of a habit to make sure you get you improve a little bit every week. I think quite a few people don't really have a good habit when they're studying go and I think developing that sort of thing is more important than just studying the one topic that's the most important for you to study. Like you need to study capturing races. Yes, it's good to study capturing races, but if you just spend a week studying capturing races and then the rest of the month, the other three weeks in a month, you do nothing else, that's not very helpful. Now, one of the reasons why I'm very happy with this style of books is this is something I want to do. And I, I think I'm actually planning on doing something similar to this, a real life sort of very practical training regimen for people to join and follow along with. Maybe I can team up with some other people and get it done. Uh, we'll see how that goes. We'll see if I can do that. But I, I really think this is a good book, even if you aren't doing the physical challenge, the, the actual challenge that they are setting up in their discord. If you just get this to help you develop a habit of studying, that's already good enough. I believe you can just pick it up on Amazon. I will definitely leave a link uh, for you to get it Remember, if you do want to do the One Dawn Challenge, it starts on August 28th on the Awesome Baduk Discord. It does cost uh, 20 euros for a member of Awesome Baduk or 40 euros for a, a, someone who's not a member, I guess, something like that. And you do get the book itself, so that's already part of the price. It's about the $20 or the 20 euros. I believe that's similar to the price of the book. I don't know the conversion rates. I only know the USD, okay? <laughs> Um, but you also get feedback from the professionals and you get all the people to talk to and, and work with and sort of like a seems like it might end up being like a study group thing. It's a really cool idea. Maybe this isn't a very good book review, but it's something I just wanted to talk about. I think it's I think it's going to be useful for people. So I want to point people in this direction because their video did not get as many views as I would hope, but it got around 200. Maybe we can push uh, and get more uh, people going towards this. 
Anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed this book review slash praise thing. <laughs> It's mostly positive, I think, right here. And uh, let me know if you're interested in this sort of idea in general, because even if you don't get this book, even if you don't end up joining and doing their uh, challenge itself, would you be interested in the future, me putting on this sort of challenge? I have my own ideas on how I would want to do it. Uh, practical information that any rank should be able to use and that any rank should know that I want to sort of give out to people and challenge people to play games and get game reviews. Maybe I can team up with other people to do it. Let me know. It would be quite a lot of fun and I would want to do it as at early next year. Yeah, so definitely, definitely let me know if you would be interested in that idea. I hope you, uh, again, I hope you enjoyed this and uh, I hope you guys are having a, a good day here. Have fun.